Hello everyone and welcome to the stories of A.I. Limitless. It's your boy A.I. Limitless, a travel filmmaker and a photographer. Yeah guys, I mean this journey is so insane. I started my YouTube journey as a travel vlogger. But gradually my connection, my bond with these cameras and lenses became so intense that now I'm transforming into a filmmaker and a photographer. Yeah guys, that's a crazy thing. But I want to thank all you travel enthusiasts, all you filmmakers and photographers who supported me, who shared their love and who joined me in this journey. This means a lot to me guys. And so, coming back after a very long break, today I want to share with you guys how I created this minimalistic, a budget friendly but while at the same time a professional looking filmmaking studio. So all the beginner filmmakers who are watching this video I just want to say this yeah guys you can also create something dope like this I mean in the beginning this problem of budget is really something buggy about that filmmaking thing but you can do it guys with a bit of creative process and a bit of jugaad and we'll talk about jugaad in this vlog so let's go and check out my basic budget friendly minimalistic but a professional filmmaking studio. So let's go. So guys my minimalistic budget friendly uh, studio is just located inside my one bedroom apartment. And I just want to give you a quick tour in this B-roll, in this upcoming B-roll. I hope you'll enjoy it. So here you go. <coughs> now, I understand guys, you might be thinking that there is no way that a professional filmmaking studio might look like this. And I agree with you 100%, like 100%. And this is not the filmmaking studio. Actually, my filmmaking studio is a bit portable. You can wrap it up and carry it anywhere. And that's why it's a minimalistic and a budget-friendly filmmaking studio. So the whole concept of this video is to tell you all how you can create such minimalistic and budget-friendly filmmaking studios at your own places or even when you are traveling. I mean, sometimes you got to make those short clips for the documentaries especially like i am doing right now for my recent documentary which i am filming on the historical and cultural aspects of amritsar so anyways talking about this vlog let me share how i create this professional filmmaking studio in just no time oh so talking about this filmmaking studio from where should i start Hmm, I mean, where should you start? The basic thing is the background. I mean, in my room, there's nothing which I can consider as a decent background. So for that, whenever I am filming in my own room as a studio, the basic consideration that I consider is somewhere a place which is completely flat. So behind me, as you can see this wardrobe, look at this wardrobe. It's completely flat, but the problem is that it's not giving that professional touch a complete flat color. So yeah, for that I have a solution. So hold this camera for a while. Let me bring that solution down for you. <laughs> Now this is the very first initiative that you can take. Think about this guys, even if you don't have any background, a complete proper nice background for your studio, it doesn't matter because even if you are living in a single bedroom apartment, you can still manage, manage to have a cupboard and on that cupboard, you just can simply put a black backdrop and even if you can't afford to buy a black backdrop or any color, backdrop you can simply put acoustic curtains or something like that maybe bed sheets complete white bed sheets or 
single colored bed sheets and in front of that you can place a nice wooden chair for you to sit and then coming to the second step of this procedure hmm let me think about it yeah guys the second step is where shall i put my camera let's be honest guys i actually don't have a tripod right now i'm a beginner filmmaker and it makes sense that it's high time that i should buy a tripod maybe but as i don't have it right now so it is what it is and i can change i can't change that fact so what i actually do is i do some jugad and if you don't know what jugad is it's a bit of compromise we say it in hindi language yeah so let me show you what kind of jugad i do to replace the tripod in my studio here you go Now looking at the worst case scenario even if you don't have this gorilla pod with you guys even then you can create a nice place a nice spot to place your camera and this is how you can do it even if you don't have a high table a high i mean a table high enough you can simply place a pile of books and then with the help of this thing you can just keep the camera and just you know just give me a moment so guys tell me isn't this small budget friendly filmmaking studio looking much more professional now i mean even if you are creating a podcast or you're shooting a film with someone or taking some stage shots i mean studio shots for a documentary film nobody will know the difference in some professional studio and this studio so the thing is that there's still something missing which you can add in this minimalistic budget friendly studio so what it is let me give it a clap ah these lights guys i mean you can make complete use of the lights around you it doesn't matter where you are there are always some tube lights some led lights some lcd lights and you can make complete use of those lights it doesn't matter even if you don't have those aperture lights or those big studio lights you can make use of these lights in the beginning and coming to the last thing of this vlog where you should spend your money as a filmmaker in the beginning and the answer to this simple question is in your gear guys i mean the studio and all these things in that you can put in your studio are kind of luxury for a filmmaker which he can use later on but the things that really matter for a filmmaker are his gear like professional dslr or dsm cameras and some nice lenses for that camera and along with that you can buy some directional mics or some other professional mics for your film making career because these are the things that really matter in the long run so yeah i would also want to know about your perspective on this you know this topic of minimalistic or what kind of studio you want so in the comment section share your ideas i would love to read them would love to interact with you guys and if you enjoyed this video hit the like button guys and for more travel vlogs or some filmmaking or photography vlogs just smash that subscribe button like smash it yeah and share this vlog with your friends guys it might help them all your travel or i mean all your filmmaking friends yeah for sure it will help them and i'll see you in the next vlog till then enjoy and peace